How's it going guys? It's Kyle or the higher two guy one two three here and in today's video I'm gonna show you guys how to get a custom discord server invite link without being part of the discord partner program or having a server with 14 or more boosts. To begin open up your internet browser and head to the website discord.io. I'll leave a link for the site in the description below. A quick heads up that discord.io is completely unaffiliated with discord itself. Once you are on the homepage, click on login in the top right hand corner to log into discord.io with your discord account. Once you're logged in, discord will ask you if you want to allow discord.io to have access to your discord account. Discord.io will have access to your username, avatar, banner, and email address, and it will also know what servers you are in. Additionally, Discord.io will not be buying you a nice seafood dinner, which is fine by me since I hate seafood. So if you're okay with these terms, click on Authorize. When you've been logged into Discord.io, you'll get a welcome prompt. Just click on OK. Now head back to the top right hand corner of the page and click on Add Listing. The website can be slow at times, so you might need to wait a bit for the page to load. Here is where we'll be creating our custom invite link. We now need to head over to Discord and get an invite link from the server we want to create the custom invite link for. In this tutorial, I'll use a brand new server just to show that you don't need to be a Discord partner or have a server with any boosts to get a custom invite link. To get an invite link for your server, right click on the server icon and choose invite people. A window will appear and at the bottom you'll see a server invite link. Now we need to click edit invite link and make sure that the invite link never expires and has no limit on the maximum number of uses. Now generate a new link to create a new invite link for your server, then copy it. Now head back into your web browser and discord.io. On the page, you'll see a discord.io slash a text box where you can enter a custom alias. This is where you'll create your custom invite link for your server. So enter an alias of your choice for your custom invite link. For this example, my custom invite link will be discord.io slash thg discord link tut. After that, paste the invite link for your discord server we just copied in the text box that says permanent invite. Then click personalize to create your custom server invite link. After a second or two, your invite link will be generated. You can now copy it and give it out to people for them to join your server. We can test it out ourselves if we open up a new tab in our web browser and paste it in the URL bar, then hit enter. You'll be brought to this page and you can see the name of your Discord server along with the server icon and discord.io is redirecting you to Discord where you'll be asked to join the server if you are not joined already. Anyone who uses the link will be asked to join the server on the Discord app but they can also use the web version if they would like and in my case it obviously won't ask me to join the server since I own the server therefore I'm already in it. And that's pretty much all there is to it to creating a custom Discord server invite link without being a Discord partner and having a server without any boosts. Now if you come back over to discord.io, you can manage your existing custom invite links. As you can see, I have another one for my howtoguy123 server, discord.io slash the howtoguy123, which you can try out if you would like. You can also edit or delete your custom invites. Additionally, you can see the real-time analytics for your invite links, such as how many times your link has been clicked on, when people are using your link, which country they are using your link from, and what device they are using when clicking on your link. And that brings us to the end of the tutorial. If this video helped, please leave a like. If it didn't, leave a dislike. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comment section below, and I'll try my best to help you guys out. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.